being a legacy that I have left for this country, to have it where identity theft is no longer not a crime. Right? See, before they had to prove intent by fraud. But now, if, if somebody's carrying information that they have no reason to have, that can be, that can be criminal intent. If, they, if they're carrying information that they shouldn't have or they possess identity that they shouldn't have, that can be, that can be, that can be shown as criminal intent because of that law okay this book was responsible for that and it's kind of a catch-all of everything this book sells for 27 uh, 2695 um, uh, that's that one confessions of an identity thief is the story of Ryan this is the guy I've been talking about a lot tonight this is his story this is not a how-to book because <laughs> I refuse to talk about the how-to's I just absolutely refuse I don't want to educate somebody how to be a criminal Okay, so the, but this is about the experiences that he went through. One thing I'll tell you, he was arrested five times, and he used to think that he was smarter than the police because he used to refer to it as a catch and release program. That was the term he used. And really, what he didn't know at the time, the police guys confirmed it afterwards. They were just building up a better case to get him. Okay, that's this one. That's about Ryan. The other one is Memories of a Stolen Life. This is a young girl at the age of 18. In January of 2005, she was 18. She had her purse stolen right out of her hand in a bowling alley. <laughs> this is now what? July of 2014. It is not over for her yet. It was about driver's licenses and cars being in accidents and being stopped for DUIs that she did not do. But it was all done in her name. This is her story. It's an amazing story. This lady, I have total respect for this lady. She, she, um, she went, because of her experiences, she actually went to university to become a psych major, believe it or not. Um, very strong personality because of what she went through. And this is her story. Ryan, I'm also proud of him. He, he was able to shake all the charges and got free of all of that. And he is now... He's totally away from it. He can't even relate to the industry in terms of the business of, uh, of the whole identity theft thing. He can't even relate to it anymore. He's totally free of it. And I, you know, here's a case of an individual who was able to get rehabilitated. That is rare. And that's because he was able to get off the drugs. He tells me everybody that was able to get off the drugs is okay. But there's a few of them still out there that are still doing it after 10 years. Right? So that's those. I'll offer those. And also, too, I do the risk assessment for both businesses that are operated from home. We can talk about that afterwards. So I have some services.